Life's obstacles. I have some questions. Today we're going to do this a little differently. I'm not just going to go into some of the gifts and stuff that we've been given and explain how they work, but I have some questions for you. I, you know, I've talked about many different tools and these gifts and we've been blessed, but unless you have uh, the desire to work on these uh, for yourself, nothing's going to change. So your first question is, where are you? Do you really know where you're at? And your second question is, where are you going? Do you know where that, uh, where you're going to end up? Or where you want to go? And are you uh, letting life get in the way? Or are you investing time and money for your own future? To better yourself, to get to where you want to go? So <clears throat> here's another one. What is your purpose? You know, your passion. What gets you up in the morning? That's uh, really a good question. A lot of people can't answer that. And do you have a vision? A five-month goal, six-month goal, a year, five years from now? What's your vision? And then what is your goal? Do you know where you're headed? Without a goal, you're just wandering around aimlessly. So <clears throat> the other question is, you're working towards your goal every day? That is something that, uh, you know, if you want something to happen and, and to you want to accomplish it, you need to work on it every day. Are you disciplined enough to do that? So are you thinking? I mean really, really thinking. You know, we all say, oh yeah, we think. No, that's brain activity. Deciding what you want to eat or what you're going to wear today is not thinking. Did you know that 2% of the people really think, 3% think they think, and that 95% would rather die than think? That was uh, mentioned by Dr. Ken McFarlane. And that's amazing when you think about it, but that's what I'm talking about when you really think. 95% would rather die than think. That's amazing. And then, do you know how to make a decision, like a real good decision? Or do you sit there and hum and haw about things? You know, that's another one. They, they all, all the very successful people in the world, when they saw something, they analyzed it quickly, they made their decision, and they stuck with it. And they never changed it if and when they ever did. It was very slowly. And... Do you, I guess, know how to, or, or understand your subconscious, your, uh, uh, your consciousness, and how they work? Because there's two parts to the mind, the conscious and the subconscious. Uh, you know, these are just a few topics that we cover in our co coaching course. And if you're stuck, please uh, reach out to us and give us an email. At, uh, you can email me at danhshirley at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to get back to you or leave a comment below this video. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you like what we talk about so you don't miss any new ones that are coming out. You know, other than that, have yourself a great day. Bye for now.